guys in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can install Windows Whistler build 2257 inside of VMware Workstation or VMware Player or pretty much any other virtual machine software that you have. Now first off I just want to thank you guys because my other Windows Whistler video where I showed you how to install build 2419 has reached over I think 6,000 views uh, we're almost at 7,000 views now and that video has become the most popular video on my channel which is pretty amazing and uh, I know you guys want more of these videos because of that so I'm definitely going to try making more of these Windows Beta videos um, so yeah uh, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, Windows Whistler build 2257 and a little history about this build it was released in August of 2000 uh, and this was the first build to feature the results of something called the clean desktop initiative from Microsoft uh, and it had a newly designed boot screen. Uh, they kind of just like, changed the text and the, and the logo to say Microsoft Codename Whistler. But the design is exactly the same as Windows 2000s. And it is also the first build to include Microsoft's personal firewall. And also the uh, professional visual style was tweaked with new colors. Now this was later renamed to the watercolor visual style that we saw in uh, build 2419 and the font on the start button was also changed so we will take a look at all these things once we actually get into the operating system so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your virtual machine software and you're going to want to click on create a new virtual machine and uh, for VMware users you're going to want to click on the custom advanced option now if you're using something like VirtualBox um, I don't think there is a custom advanced option but you're just, want, you're just going to want to change all the settings that I am going to tell you you need to change um, but anyway, just click on next, uh, and this is just the hardware compatibility for the version of Workstation that you're using. Now, you could change it if you want, but I'm going to leave it on Workstation 10, because uh, that is the latest, uh, at least I think. So just click on next, and you want to select I will install the operating system later, and click next. Then you want to select the operating system as Microsoft Windows and the version as Windows 2000 Professional and click next and you can name it anything I'm just going to call it Whistler build 2257 and click on next and for the number of cores and processors just leave it all on one uh, click next and for the memory we're going to bring this up to at least 512 megabytes of RAM because this is a Windows 2000 preset and since we are running uh, a build based off of Windows 2000, there might be some things that need a little bit more RAM. So we're just going to make it, just give it a little bit more RAM to work with. And click on next, and you will want to use bridge networking if you actually plan on getting, or if you actually want to get on the internet using uh, the virtual machine. So we're going to use bridge networking. Uh, click next, and for the SCSI controller, you just want to leave it on the recommended one. And click next now for the virtual disk type you want to make sure that it's IDE because I don't think SCSI works well with uh, this build of Whistler so you definitely want to make sure that it's IDE uh, click next and you want to create a new virtual disk I think that 8GB is going to be uh, there's plenty of space uh, for this version of Windows so we're just going to leave it at that you can increase it if you want to uh, but I'm just going to leave it at the uh, preset here and you're going to store the virtual disk as a single file and click next and you can name the disk here I'm just going to leave it as the um, virtual machine name and click next and then you want to click on customize hardware go down to the new CD DVD drive and then click use ISO image file and you want to browse the ISO image file that you downloaded now if you haven't done that yet there's a link down below in the video description uh, that will allow you to actually download it uh, and it, is, it is a pretty big file so it could take a while uh, depending on your internet connection you just want to click on browse here and select that file alright and once you've done that uh, you're going to see it in here and you just want to click on close and finish and it's going to pop up with a new virtual machine and what you want to do is do not click on power on however you want to go up here to the VM tab power and then power on to BIOS now I'm sure if you've watched uh, some of my other uh, Windows beta videos you'll know that uh, most of these builds have a trial period on them, which is pretty much uh, when they set a certain amount of time that the build will be actually actually usable in. And if you try to boot into uh, the operating system with a date later than that, such as 2013, uh, it's not going to let you really do anything. 
So since this build was released in August of 2000, we're going to set the date to 8. And I'm going to choose the day as the 31st since it didn't really specify what date it was. And 2000. And you want to press enter and then press F10 to save and exit. And then press enter on yes. And now it's going to restart again and it's going to come up with a setup. And it says uh, setup is inspecting your computer's hardware configuration. And we have the Windows Whistler setup. And this is going to take uh, hopefully not that long to load because we are in a virtual machine. Now something that is interesting is the text up there at the top actually says Windows Whistler setup. And I believe in the build before this which was 2250 um, that text still read Windows 2000 so they have changed that. Uh, so, I mean, this build does have a lot of the Windows 2000 things changed over to Windows Whistler, which, I mean, this is kind of needed. Uh, and at the bottom of it there, it says setup is starting Windows Whistler, so we will just wait for it. So, we have been pre presented with this setup notification, which is pretty much telling you that you're about to install a, an evaluation version of Windows. So, you just want to press enter to continue, and press enter to set up Windows Whistler now. Then it's going to come up and tell you that it can automatically configure most aspects of your installation. However, we're going to press the C key to go with the manual installation because I don't think that the automated one works that well. So press the C key and then you want to press uh, C to create a partition. You want to press enter and then you want to press enter to install and format using the NTFS file system. And there we go. Alright, now it's going to examine the disks. And it's going to begin copying files to the Windows installation folders. This might take several minutes, but again, we're on a virtual machine, on uh, unlike on a real computer. So uh, the speeds are going to be very noticeably different. So this should be done. You see it's already almost halfway done, so we'll just wait for it uh, to finish up. And it's going to initialize the Windows Whistler configuration. And you just want to press enter to restart. Or you can wait the 15 seconds if you want to. And now it says starting windows and we should see see here is that new codename whistler boot screen you see it has the exact same design and the actual like the exact same logo as windows 2000 it just says microsoft codename whistler uh and yeah that, that's really all they changed on here uh so we should be booting up here into the um setup process which is probably also going to be a little bit like windows 2000 i I actually think that the inst um, that the setup process is sort of like yes, it's like it's much like Windows Me or Windows ME Millennium Edition. Uh, so that is one thing they definitely tried to do in this build was to bring a lot of the home version uh, aspects of Windows into the professional version, which is of course what XP was supposed to do. Um, is to was to merge those two together. But anyway, uh, we are installing, or we are just waiting here. Uh, but on the side here you can see we have like like all the things that it's doing now it's installing and then after that it will finalize so we just want to click on next you see it actually says windows, windows whistler setup up here and not and it just continued for me all right uh and it's going to detect and install devices such as your keyboard and mouse so um this shouldn't take that long um but your screen may flicker uh, or the vm screen may flicker and that's just because uh that it's it's just detecting all that hardware. Alright, so we have now just come up with the um, regional settings. Now these are, of course, going to be set by default to English, US, and US. So uh, unless you're in a different country or on a different keyboard layout, you want to change these here. And click Next. Now for the name, uh, of course you can type in anything else. Type in MJD uh, and press Next. And I do not think you need a product key for this, which is pretty nice. And for the computer name, I'm just going to put Whistler2257. Uh, and we're going to click on Next. And you, you can type an admin password if you want to, but of course you don't have to. Uh, I'll just leave this as the default. You can change it if you want. And it's going to install networking components. So we'll just wait for it to finish up with that. And now we are at the networking settings part. And you can choose either typical or custom settings, but we're just going to choose typical unless you want to change any of this stuff. Uh, I'm, just going to, I'm just going to keep it on typical settings and click next. And uh, I would select no, this computer is not on a network because, I mean, unless you actually want to make this part of, of a domain or something like that. So I'm just going to select no for this option. 
and click next because again this is a virtual machine it's not actually a physical computer so yeah and now it's going to install the components uh, which shouldn't take I mean it's just going to copy all the files um, I guess over from the CD so let's wait for it to finish up here alright and now we are at the part uh, where it's just to say things like Windows just got better Windows Whistler helps you get the most out of your PC or, and stuff more innovative this new release includes hundreds of, en of en enhancements and new features based on customer requests and product support uh, but now as you see over here it's basically um, installing a bunch of stuff and this looks like uh, a like, kind of like, like like a Windows Me setup uh, but it does have that sort of XP feel to it because it's saying all this stuff like it's saying oh it does this new features and um, yeah there's, there's not that like that percent bar down here at the bottom isn't here yet so of course this, this is a very early build this is before 2419 so uh, and, and I think in 2419 we saw that um, that installer looked a lot like the Windows XP one. So this is way before that, as you can probably tell. Uh, so we're just waiting for it to finish up here. It's just uh, registering components right now, and we should be finished. I'll be back uh, once we have finished up. All right, so we have just finished up the installation, and it has said that one or one or more minor errors occurred during, the, during installing Windows 2000. Uh, these errors will not prevent Windows 2000 from running, so we're just going to click on No because we don't really care about the log file, and we will restart. Uh, so hopefully, this will not affect um, the actual way the system runs. Like it said, I don't know what that minor error could be. Um, probably something like it couldn't register a file because it couldn't connect with the server or something like that um, but we are here at the Microsoft Codename Whistler boot screen uh, and we're just about to boot into Windows Whistler build 2257 and here we are we have Windows Whistler personal now uh, that is what the home edition builds were called at this time they're called personal it's like instead of home edition uh, so they had personal and professional builds, but uh, I guess this one was a personal build uh, from that little marking right there. So uh, we're just waiting for the desktop to come up, and hopefully we can do a slight resolution change because this is like a very uh, low resolution. Uh, and it looks like that it has booted. We're just here at the network identification wizard. I'm just going to close out of this because I'm not going to actually connect to the network. And we have a Microsoft Codename Whistler uh, login screen, the Windows 2000 startup sound. And we should be loading the desktop here. Hopefully. Let's. Alright. So here we are at uh, the Windows Whistler personal build 2257 desktop. So you see, now I know this is in a very low re resolution, but you can see that the taskbar looks a little different. The start button font has been changed, and it's got that nice, yeah, I have to change this resolution around. Um, yeah, can we change anything? Um, well, here, I'm going to try to install uh, VMware Tools, which should hopefully get the resolution bumped up, and I will be uh, right back. Well guys, apparently uh, VMware Tools doesn't want to install, so we're going to have to take a look at this build uh, in this 640 by 480 screen resolution. I know that's going to be kind of hard for some of you guys, but uh, we're going to have to deal with it. Now this is the new start menu. Now I'm, and you can tell the design probably looks a lot better, not this, like all this grayscale. I'll, I'll probably, if I can find a picture, I'll put like an actual image of the, what the start menu is supposed to look like. And this is the um, all programs thing down here, and if you mouse over this and actually click on it, you can view all the programs that you have installed on the, on the computer. And I don't, I don't think the games have been changed that much. They look the same as they were in Windows 2000. If we take a look at this here, it says Apply Yourself Solitaire, version 5.1. However, the copyright date has been changed to 1981 to, to 2000, since they were actually developing this build in 2000. And this is what the... Um, uh, about screen looks like I'm sure it's this this blue bar is a little bit nicer looking and see the theme is what I really wanted to show you guys but apparently we're not going to get to see that um, but the theme this is the watercolor theme or the it was called at this time the professional theme 
uh, and as you see it looks a lot different if I were to change this over to the uh, Windows Classic theme here let me do that here see we have professional Windows Classic if I change it over you can see um, like just a difference and it might run a little better on the Windows Classic theme because we can actually see the colors but I'm going to keep it on the professional theme here uh, and I, I thought you could change the window colors but I guess you can't uh, at release in this build and if we go to appearance and themes uh, this is like with the pick a task thing this is that newer control panel style that they have added uh, so we can you know do things like change your desktop it brings up that same thing change your screen area which I don't know why it doesn't let me go to 800 by 600 it just like does this and then it's back at 640 by 480 so um, but then it does have the um, Microsoft personal firewall which I'm going to th I'm guess is in uh, network and internet somewhere but let me try maybe, maybe home network settings you can just do a search for it let's do a search for um, firewall there are no there's nothing to display okay well that's that's unfortunate I guess we're not gonna be able to look at the firewall um actually I really want to look at that firewall I don't know why we can't look at that but here is the user accounts thing now if you remember my Windows Neptune tour video you're gonna see that um, this looks very similar to that it also looks very similar to the Windows XP um, the final one uh, just like just it was tweaked a little bit now I'm not we can't really see the colors here either so um, but yeah we can you know choose accounts we can choose the guest account and and all that we can go to sounds and audio devices and view sound properties and all that kind of stuff and if, and if we go to other control panel icons we're gonna get this and if we click on system uh, here is the system uh, tab here so this this uh, this up here actually still says Microsoft Windows 2000 uh, for the computer name the hardware all, all this kind of stuff and for, and for this comments thing if you're wondering what this does we saw this back in Windows Neptune uh, where you can send comments uh, to Microsoft if you're having problems or something like that and apparently there is some type of speech recognition or no this is the um, just like the speech uh, like output thing so let's see if we can preview this voice it's not it's not doing anything well that's it but something that's interesting it says you is the default string in here is you, you have selected MS Sam as the computer's default voice now in in um, Windows XP they changed MS to Microsoft so I don't know why it was called MS Sam uh, in this version but I mean maybe they were like trying to save space or something but uh, I don't know why it's not it's not outputting because I have it set to the uh, like to the virtual thing it's just not outputting anything and we also have automatic updates uh, where we can install uh, updates I'm sure you all know what that does uh, every Windows computer has that today um, and yeah I mean the the thing to note is just the new start menu definitely I mean this is uh, even more well this is like a merge between the Windows 2000 start menu and the Windows XP one because we have the name on the side uh, which is taken from Windows 2000 when it used to say Windows 2000 professional on the side so they changed that and they put your, your name on the side and they have um, like all your things from XP your your fol your folders over here your your most recently used things up here and you can log off and turn off the computer and if you're wondering what that looks like it looks like this, and this is the turn off the computer um, menu from Windows Whistler. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for Windows Whistler build 2257. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to be trying to do these videos more often, because uh, I know you guys uh, obviously like these videos, and um, I do enjoy making them, because I actually like looking at these old Windows builds. Uh, so yeah guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.